Welcome back, everyone, to the final installment of Call of Cthulhu Dark Corners of the Earth. That looks important. Oh. That looks important. That sounds important. It's written in some kind of ancient language. I'll need to decipher it. Okay. These, if I can now read some of the last passages, I'll write them down. This must be the original source text for Obed's translation, the Book of Dagon. These are the tablets of there Dagon. There you go. This must be the original source text for Obed's translation, the Book of Dagon. Which could mean... Probably nothing. No, I guess it's Mythos? Yeah, Tablets of Dagon. These ancient tablets are written in the strange glyphs of the Deep Ones. They include the final passages that are missing from the translations in the Book of Dagon. They seem to be a prophecy. Further study would be needed to produce an exact translation, but the passage reads roughly as follows. And the time shall come when the stars are right, and lo, we shall raise up that which has been sunken. So shall lost Rilia be lifted from the Deep, and the water shall recede from its palaces. And the one who dreams shall be awakened. Great Cthulhu shall arise, and fear and madness shall be upon the face of the world. Ugh. And that does line up with the lore. Cthulhu does sleep there in Rulia? Rulia? Don't wake him up. I'm not sure if I want to go in here. Oh. This gong must be used as a call to worship. If I was to hit it with enough force, if I were. the sound would be deafening. Yeah, no doubt. Whoa. Didn't work. Less than good. Penetrate, baby. I love piercing shots. But, hold on. Ooh. My head is swimming. Ladies and gentlemen, Mother Hydra. No, that, that is protection. What was that? <laughs> what was that? What the hell is happening to me? Ah, water. And a rumble? Oh, hello. Hello, hello. Three, four. Oh, my vision. Oh, my God. I actually thought I missed just because of how distorted the uh, the vision was. Oof. Please don't do that anymore. There we go. Oh, but there's more. These pipes control the flow of water into the pool below. Oh. From her point of view? If I could release the water, then I might be able to flood the pool. That would be something. I could quake to her. Now, she's getting into my head, apparently. But remember what I said about this gong? Woof. And no one ever heard anything ever again. 
my god. Oh. Crap. Only got one. Alright, oh, come on. For real. And there you are. I can... That's not me. Also, that jump. I have quite the jump. God damn. Alright, I guess I'm doing this. Can I? Alright, I guess I'll go to a different one. Yeah, I was controlling one of them. That's insane. Well, that's what I do now. That's my plan. Also, I think I see what I did wrong. I was trying to interact with the, uh, the button. I should have just attacked it. No problem. I can fix this. So there's a concept. I get to play as a deep one. My inferior human leg muscles are not good enough to carry me up to those high platforms. But that's okay. I don't need them. Yeah, I can make this happen. That's hard to figure out granted, but I can. So, hop, and yes. Oh, it just it only lets me do one. Still, though. Yeah, I don't like that, do ya? Water's starting to build up, but not enough to reach you. Ow, ow. I deserve that. What the... Oh, I'm going to die. Okay, okay. I died, but I get it. Let us try this again. Complete with horrible vision. It's fine. So step one. Get that water in there. Get Hydra mad. It looks like when she gets mad, she summons four deep ones. And when she's trying to mess with me, she summons two. I can work with that. I just can't work with my own aim. Are you serious right now? Thank you. Three and one. So still, I'm still three for three. Ah, get the hell out of here. Almost missed that one. That's amazing. So now I deafen myself. All according to plan, of course. God, that's brutal. So presumably I'll need to do this four times. I press the free statue, but then there are four more. I'll oh, get out of here. That really is a damn cool effect. Huh? Huh. No. Ha, ah, yes. Let me out. Alright, Hydra's mad. I run away. Great. I love missing free shots. Slightly injured. And now presumably we repeat. 
should be easy. Two when I go up, four when I make her mad. Repeat as necessary. I just hope she doesn't ramp up the difficulty as she goes. Oh, for God's sake. This really is a cool idea. I enjoy that the vision she sent me was of me kneeling at her thing, so she tries getting in my head later and it doesn't quite work. There we go. Gotcha. Now I leave. I'm having none of that. Great. Excellent, that actually was great. Three down, two to go, I think. It's too bad I have to blow out my own eardrums every time, but hey, whatever it takes to stop an old one, right? It really does look like the same process each time. So it's obnoxious that they make it do it this many times, but at least it's easy, question mark. Although I, I kind of like how I land on, like I do, I do like a hero landing, I gotta stand up before doing anything. Boom. Take that, mom. That, that really is so cool that I was possessing a particular deep one. You saw where he was. Perfect. One more, I think. What a process. What a weird boss fight. And once again, I like that for the real big bosses, I can't properly fight them. It was a little weird when I did it for Dagon, I admit, but I doubt I actually killed him, so credit for that, I suppose. I just made him go away. Alright, this is going to be good. Oh, no, I actually did duck that time. I don't freaking know. Alright, so... This one, I think. There. Flood that chamber. I almost got attacked immediately. It's usually a fourth, right? Yep. Cool. Alright, now we're talking. Now it gets good. Because... That's a lot of water, I think. Goodbye. Whoa. Hello. And it even gives me a save point. It was there the whole time. A decorative gold disc. Adorned with jewels. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna save. Hydra's pedestal. Yup. Can I investigate? No? It's kind of too bad, but now there's only really one thing left to do, and that's peace out. Remember, I didn't actually accomplish my goal for this place. I'd been trying to lower a shield so that submarine could attack, but I never checked this door. It's written in some kind of ancient language. According to the text, the doors can only be opened with an ancient chant. 
spoken by someone in possession of a sacred charm. Yeah, see, I had the chance, but not the charm until now. Behuin and Kugna, Fanu Naemna, Bagliz Kafungin, Kathava Hell, Kulth Cthulhu Kafungni, I a Rigazengaro, I a Hydra. Got it. I still have the, the disc. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, we've been here a while ago. That was a dead end from way earlier in the game. Oh, I did take down the shield. So good, I guess. Okay. I need to leave. Whoa. Everything is fine. My vision is not doing so well. Oh god. That that was actually close. What the Guess I'll go this way. Oh I died, jeez. Well, this scene's unskippable, so we may as well enjoy it. I don't know if bunny hopping is actually going to help me, but I'll do what I can. Also, I'm not looking down. That's my vision going crazy. You saw it snap back a little bit for a second there. Carefully time that jump. I'm not gonna bunny hop here because it's down. Now I can resume. Just walking for down. Bunny hop for up, I guess. Again, don't know what kind of difference it'll make, if any. But I'm running out of options here. My vision's taking me places again. I was looking up when I did not intend to. Oh my god, bunny hopping did help me. Oh my god, bunny hopping helped me. I can hardly believe it. Okay, let me make something clear. I spent 40 minutes, 40, doing this escape sequence over and over again and dying in that little thin cave. Just as I came to the opening, rocks would fall overhead and kill me. I, that's, that's all I have to say about that. Bunny hopping, I guess. Here we go. I'm out. Jedgar, Hoover, and Mackey. What the hell happened to him? Check his pulse. Jack, can you hear me? Jack! Shadow out of time.
Jack. Great race of Yith. Why have you summoned me? There is something I must show you. We must hurry. Time is short. Where are we going? The Great Library. Oh? showing me this now. They are still down there, Jack. Thriving in the darkness. They are plotting. That's the weapon, I think. break free of their bonds and wreak a terrible revenge. The end is inevitable. And close. Very close. How much time do we have? What the hell was that? You are no longer safe. Follow me. This is so bizarre. Right, this is the very beginning uh, thing we see, right? I now walk the shadows between worlds, and it is there I have finally glimpsed upon what lives in the dark corners of the earth. Mr. Walters? Mr. Walters! Can you hear me? Mr. Walters? He's convulsing. We're losing him. I couldn't even hear that. Wow. Suicide note. February 16th. Now, at my end, I can fully see. My last case opened in me a new fear. A real fear. A fear of myself, of what I am, and of what I have always been. All that I was is now lost. Hope? Purpose? Pleasure? All meaningless. I now walk in the shadows between worlds, and it is there I have finally glimpsed upon what lives in the dark corners of the earth. Rank D, yeah. My rank definitely dropped because I think saving, actually, and losing um, sailors on the bridge. Percent complete, I don't know what I missed. I don't know, maybe a note or something? I love mental condition, nut job. That's, that's a technical term, you see. 
Rank D, I'm not really surprised. I saved a lot. Like, the, the real way to beat this game is to save... Maybe never. Let the autosaves take over? Or save, like, once or something? I don't know. So I'm not surprised by that. 67 saves, what'd you think was gonna happen? Drug abuse? Clean. I didn't keep using morphine. It says there are danger side effects. During one of my escape sequence attempts, I tried using it. I don't know if it made my vision swim, or if that was happening as a result of the, the escape anyway, but the game cautions you from using it. So I'm a nut job, but I'm not high on anything, I guess. Hey, I've unlocked a new difficulty setting. A high score. A high score! Oh, that's cool. Based on the role-playing game. That would be interesting to play, I think. Although I have played Arkham Horror and Mansions of Madness, and both are fun. I like the way the credits is taking us through an asylum, too. This makes it fun to uh, watch. With creepy organ music, too. That is freaky. I genuinely wonder if we're gonna, like, see anything crazy during the credits. No, it might just be a tour. I do like how this is being handled, though. I gotta say, I don't know how good a place like this would be for the the inmates' mental health. I mean, it just looks like this oppressive prison, which I guess it kind of was. Places for the uh, the clinically insane were not what they are now. I mean, no wonder there's so much horror imagery of places like that. I do like the voice casting and direction and recording though, that was solid. Voice editing lethal sounds, you're not kidding. Those freaking Innsmouth people, man. Wait, John St. John was a voice? What? Who was he? It's time to kick ass and go insane. And I'm surprisingly out of kicking ass. So, options? Special features? Uh... Nothing? I thought you unlocked something for having beaten the game. I mean, we got... Oh, okay, so character renders, background, and concept art? Okay. And I think you get something else for being the next hardest difficulty. The last one, I don't remember if it was anything I'd really want to go for. But alright, character renders. They weren't kidding. This actually is a cinematic. I can't just scroll. That's crazy. But that's rather amusing. These do look pretty cool, too. God, that sucks. It's like the half-transform one. Ugh. I was gonna say, other than, like, seeing through other people's eyes, what are the cinematics in this game? Like, almost everything is in-game engine. Oof carved all over themselves, or maybe they have been carved on by others. That would be freaky. Either is freaky, really. I guess those are the cultists, maybe? Because I don't really remember them so well. There's the Innsmouth crew. I guess we're good. Background renders. Oh, that's cool. So that's Jack's office, I guess. Very moody. Where was that? That's the ship, I guess, right? That's the, the cannery, I think. The mansion. Oh, the chapel. That took me a second, because you're only in there for a little bit. Concept art. Oh my god. No thank you. Huh. It's the Ragman from Edge of the Gathering. That's pretty crazy. Oh, wow.
That's really cool, the city way under. Streets? I guess that's Innsmouth. And there's the very beginning of the game. Various plants. The, the gold smelting area. Somewhere in the underwater city. I don't even know if we ever had that. Oh no, we did. That was in the with the army, and then yeah, we're getting shot off the car. That might be it, though. Okay, cool. And again, to unlock the RS, you have to beat the game on harder difficulties. So, Boy Scout, no. Private Investigator, yeah. Hardened Detective, we can now do. And then there's Mythos Specialist. But yeah, there you go. Call of Cthulhu, Dark Horns on the Earth. That's that's a legit Lovecraft game. Well, we have done it. We have beaten Call of Cthulhu, Dark Corners of the Earth. And this was a really interesting game. It did have that authentic Lovecraft feel. I really loved, especially the beginning of the game when you're in Innsmouth and super uncomfortable because everyone's eyeing you and you know something's going to go down. It's just a matter of when. And then the actual Lovecraftian horrors appear. Now, I am aware that I've seen some complaints about the fact that you have weapons in the game at all, but... Honestly, that didn't really bother me. Even in the standard Lovecraft stories, I don't believe the main characters ever went around killing enemies, but it's not like they couldn't. You could shoot another human, it's just that they weren't often going against things like that. So, I didn't really mind that for the earlier parts of the game. The only thing that really kind of threw me was getting the super alien weapon at the end. I know that you were still only going after low-level horrors, but... Getting superpowered at the end of a Lovecraft story is really not how that generally goes. That said, though, the big stuff, like the Shugoth, the Polyps, and, uh, of course, the final boss and, and Dagon, those were not beatable with mere weapons. The electricity thing as a result of the weapon at the end, that's, that's a bit of a different story, but you don't just go and shoot them. Dagon, you had a giant freaking ship's cannon, and that's not how that's normally supposed to go, and I don't think you beat him anyway. It still felt kind of weird, though, at least staving him off with conventional weaponry, even if... Well, I guess it's not average human weaponry, maybe it's unconventional, but... Still, people made it, so I don't know, but... It still felt like the stakes were really big. And, uh, as for the end of the game... That, that was a bit difficult to put together. I had read somewhere that perhaps that benevolent race um, from the very beginning of the game that teleported in, I gathered that I guess they took some human consciousness and put it into one of their own bodies and gave them all sorts of information and then returned the consciousness to the human body. And I guess Jack has some memories of that experience. And so he feels like he's going insane and maybe is going insane and is also able to see things from other people's perspectives, like that one woman who got killed at the Gilman Inn by Gilman himself. I thought that was a vision of the future of Gilman killing me, but no, that was actually a vision from the past, so that makes things even more interesting. Jack can see from other people's eyes. They made that more clear at the end when you get to take control of the deep ones. Now, another thing this game is kind of famous for is its bugs. I mostly didn't encounter any, aside from some minor inconveniences, like saves not taking, so I had to save like three times for it to count, but that wasn't an overly big deal. I lost control of the mouse at one point, but again, I was able to fix that. The big problem was the escape sequence. That was a, a really big problem. You saw in my first attempt that I was dawdling, I was taking way too long, and all of a sudden the game's like, yeah, you're dead. <laughs> when rocks hit you, I guess. Okay, fine. But when I crossed that little bridge inside the cave, I got so excited because around there is where I would time out and die over and over again. And uh, I didn't know why that was the case, so I looked it up online. It turns out that according to, I guess, just various forums, for some reason when the game was optimized to run on modern systems, for some strange reason your, your run speed is diminished a little bit making that escape sequence almost impossible. It's to the point where, even on GOG, the, the admins, the support, uh, link directly to a fan patch that boosts your, 
your run speed. And it also has some other quality of life updates if you're interested in them. Like unlocking everything from the beginning, because it's all just cinematics. Who cares? May as well have them. Uh, I tried downloading that patch, but in order to record the game more easily, I had to use a separate program to force it into windowed mode. So the patch didn't take, because I don't think it understood where my game was running from. But I was able to beat the game for real, I just had to bunny hop the whole way and make it look kind of dumb. But still, that was pretty frustrating. And apparently this happens even with the disc-based game, not just the downloadable stuff on Steam and GOG. So I think if you want the properly the, uh, the proper way to play this game, you should use an older computer, or just play it on the original Xbox, because it's pretty rough to run on new machines, and even the official downloads are not quite optimized to the point where the game is reasonable to beat at the very end. It's such a shame that of all times for this game-breaking thing to come up, it's at the last second. That's ridiculous. But the game is beatable, just not easy at that last point. Overall, I had a lot of fun with this. It had some interesting little sanity effects, not quite to the degree of Eternal Darkness, mostly just vision blurring and hearing voices. And, of course, the sanity was too much for Jack at the end. I had heard from a couple of people in the comments section that if you're playing on harder difficulties and you really keep looking at things that you shouldn't, eventually, even during gameplay, the sanity can become too much for you and Jack just takes whatever weapon he has on him and kills himself with it. That's freaking dark and comes out of nowhere as far as a gameplay perspective. I mean, I can buy this happening in Lovecraft stories, but during gameplay, that's intense. By the way, the game's called Call of Cthulhu. We never actually see Cthulhu. Honestly, I respect that. Cthulhu is so grand and so insurmountable that I kind of like the idea of, oh, he could show up at any time, but he doesn't quite, because there are some things that are best left to the imagination. Especially because of when this game was made, how cool could they have possibly made Cthulhu look in uh, a game of this era? Like, how would they have made a battle or an escape sequence with a mate make sense? So I'm actually kind of okay that he never got to manifest, and we had to, uh, we had to stick with Dagon and Hydra. They were impressive enough as it is, and Cthulhu really... Th there's nothing you can do. If Cthulhu shows up, if, if Cthulhu were ever awakened, that'd be a world ender. So, I think we got off lucky this time, even if Jack had had more than enough. This game was a lot of fun to play, and I hope you enjoyed watching as much as I enjoyed playing. Thank you very much for watching. And of course, thank you very much to Kristen Carlson for offering me the opportunity to play this game. And special thanks, of course, go to DJ Gamer, Dracologist, and me, Gamer, for their amazing title cards. This was indeed a fascinating look at the Lovecraft experience, and I look forward to playing more games like it should they ever come around. Until next time, everyone.